What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we got invited to two media events for two separate home haunts. The first being Pirate's Cave Haunt yes. and the second being Corona Haunts. So the last time we were at Pirate's Cave Haunt, it was just a show, yes. but it was fantastic. It was actually one of the highlights of the home haunts that we did last year. So I'm really excited because this one is a walkthrough and I'm hearing an awful lot of screams in there. So I think it's good. Yes. And we know that just Pirate's Cave Haunt in general does a very good job with their sets, with their storytelling, their special effects. If the show is any indicator of what's to come, I am very, I'm ready. I'm, I'm super excited. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. So yeah, we're gonna head in right now. This year's haunt is called The Curse of Calico Jack, and it has to do with like being in a mine. Yeah. So ooh. after this, we're gonna go to Corona Haunt, but yeah, let's go and uh, check this out. Here's the times that they're open and the dates. Highly recommend you guys check this out. We should. So we're waiting in line right now, and I don't know if you guys remember, but this is where the actual show was in this driveway right here. They had a bunch of projections. Um, the garage door was open, so the, you know there was like some scenes that were happening from there. And this the show was pretty crazy. It had a lot of water effects. It was just great lighting. It was fantastic. So I'm really excited to see this little walkthrough that they got going on here. It's almost oh, our shit. turn. You gonna be here for a little bit? It's just so crazy yeah. to me that they also offer Express queue. This feels just like a Halloween Horror Nights. Okay. So welcome to Larson Sun Mine Tours. They've been found this cave about six months ago. I've been digging here ever since. Currently down about four, 450 feet below sea level. Ooh. So in the main artifact room, we did find some stuff. So we got some artifacts to show you guys. What's We're the signage over here say? What is this? Well, we'll get to that in about 10 seconds when the light turns on. Oh, gotcha. Oh, oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Perfect. <10 seconds. laughs> so you guys will step forward for me. Yeah. So since your cell phones won't, won't work, there's no Twitter, there's no Snapchat, there's no TikTok because you're 400 feet below sea level. If there's an emergency and there's a problem in the elevator, we communicate with a series of bell signals. So this is good to take a picture of it or memorize it if you can. Okay. Also with the light being on, this light's also tied to our ventilation system. So we're currently getting some fresh in there. Get rid of the methane gas because too much methane gas and you look like her. Oh. <laughs> Noted. So if there's problems with methane gas in the mine, we used to have canaries down there, but we went through so many canaries so fast that PETA got involved. So if there's an issue, you'll see some of the miners wearing gas masks. They do have extras. Sometimes they share, sometimes they don't. All right? <laughs> Noted. This sounds, this sounds safe. You ready? Yeah, when the good. light goes out, the ventilation system goes off. It's your turn to go on on your tour. Okay. All right. All right. Do you right. have any questions? No, no I think, I think we feel good. There we go. Oh. All right. Thank you. Whoa. This is way longer than I could have imagined it would be. This is crazy. This is kind of freaky, Arl, I'm not gonna lie. It's much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Hey folks, welcome to Larson Sun's Body Company, Sam Street 1870. I'll be taking it out of 450 feet to one of our current active body sites, but I can have you enter my elevator right here. That would be great, thank you. Oh. Since we were established here in 1870, this elevator is a little old, but it gets the job done. I want to give you a little tip of advice. If you want the ride to go smoothly, make sure you disperse your weight. Thank you. Enjoy your ride. All right. Okay, folks, this here is shot number one, and we're taking you down 450 feet to one of our active mines. Whoa! <laughs> this is crazy. No idea how deep you're going to go. The sea level is marked with a red lantern. When you're about red lantern, you just can't leave the ocean floor. Put your light to stop so that will do it. Now, I'm going to will lead you to the main excavation room for a demonstration of our equipment. This, part starts this is crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my 
my gosh. I think we crashed. Yeah. Sorry about the road, Thank you. If you folks are going to be following me right this way, I'll take you to one of our current active mining sites. All right. Warning. Act hey, mining. folks. Oh, no, today. Sorry about that meeting. Scary. We got a live dip going on. You want to take a look? Yes. Let's go. Come on. Whew. Watch your step up on the deck, please. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, who are you yelling at over here? Oh. Yes. Mind you. Yes. Who are these? Your cousins? Hang on there, buddy. Hang on there. What are these guys really doing? They're the tour. The boss told us about it. The tour's not supposed to be down this Boy, long. you want to sit him back? You want to put this guy on the board? What do you want to do? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, hey, folks. Welcome to uh, Larson and Sons Mining Company. My name's John. This is Joe. And uh, we've just been down here digging under the ocean surface. This ancient uh, chest of some sort. We're actually waiting on word from our boss to come on down and uh, let us open her up. But uh, I don't know if something's wrong with the elevator or something. But uh, he's gonna take a sweet time, I'm sure. You know how bureaucrats are. So you might as well make your way onto the next no, no, room. No, no, no. There's uh, nothing else to see here. We got him here. Let's open the chest. You guys want to see what's in the chest? Yeah, I kind of do. Hey, yeah, I, I want to see. They want to see. What are you afraid of? It's the gas. You all are crazy. Have you not heard of the curse of God? I don't believe in that voodoo. Uh, okay, uh, John, we decided to watch the opening from here. Uh, you have to go ahead to open the chest. Good, come on, something up. Gotta be kidding. Come on. Dear Lord. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my gosh. I now have power over the earth and the sea. I summon the Kraken that destroyed my ship. Jesus Christ! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was incredible. Yeah, that was really good. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I have to say that's probably my favorite walkthrough out of anything we've done, including Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, like the scares in that one were like... For the most part, I felt like very unexpected. Like very. Was, yeah. Well, you know what I think it is? So it was like, oh, this is a home haunt. I don't think that it's going to be like as scary. I mean, I've been through Halloween Horror Nights and not Scary Farm. Mm -hmm. No, damn. I jumped so many times yeah. in this maze. Yeah. Wow. The sets were incredible. The elevator the scene. Elevator, yeah. You that. guys couldn't tell, but like we were literally like moving. Like the, the hydraulics they had on that was great. Yeah. And I really liked the use of their space. So yeah. it was... So as you're, well, you guys saw, but as you're walking down that first hallway, the mine hallway, um, it looks all normal, but they did a very clever thing. Well, on the other side of all the beams, they made it burnt. So when you're walking back, it looks like a different scene. Yeah. And it was just brilliant. Yeah, they did a great job. Fantastic job. You guys, please check out Pirate's Cave Haunt. It is not to be missed and it is, it's not messing around. Yeah. It is, it is not fucking with you, okay? <laughs> so now we're heading over to the Corona Hunt. Let's go. We made it to Corona Haunt, and this year's theme is Tales of Halloween. This is also gonna be very exciting. I'm so ready. All right, we're being let in. Ooh, it smells wonderful.
Oh dear lord, oh no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That one was also very good. That one was really good. I yeah. really liked this one because it was very versatile. There was a lot yeah. of different scenes and they did such a good job with each scene. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they, they definitely went for that uh, trick or treat vibe. Ooh. And Spooky! Yeah, they definitely went for that trick or treat vibe and I liked it. Yeah, I, I really liked how brightly lit this maze was as well. Um, and I liked the trigger scares. Yeah. They definitely take a lot of inspiration from Halloween Horror Nights, you yeah. can tell. We're a fan of trigger scares. Yes, we are. So that was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. You guys, please check out Corona Haunt and Pirate's Cave Haunt. If you guys, you know, have a free evening and you guys want to get some spooks in, I have to say these two are probably one of my favorites of the entire season. Yeah. And like that's, I'm talking Halloween Horror Nights, not that's Scary fair. Farm. These two have been so much fun. Yeah. And you get to go through it as many times as you want if it's not busy no, and make sure you guys donate because they put a lot of work into these a lot of work yeah. so yeah fantastic time thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe if you guys haven't a like is always appreciated and we'll see you guys in the next one